Welcome to the University of Michigan Dentistry Podcast Series, promoting oral health care worldwide. To help in determining the position for the wax occlusal rim, draw a line on the diagnostic cast along the length of the mandibular residual ridge crest. Extend it onto the crest landing areas posterior to the top of the retromolar pad and anterior to the labial vestibule. Draw another line along the ridge crest in the anterior region, extending it onto the landing areas on both sides. When the tray is in place on the diagnostic cast, these lines will serve as reference points for centering the wax occlusal rim. Mark the top of the retromolar pad on each side of the cast. And place another mark one to two millimeters below this mark on each side and extend these lower marks onto the landing areas. Near the base of the cast, draw a line on each side parallel to the mean of the residual ridge. These marks will help in determining the height for the rim and in positioning it parallel to the ridge. Heat one sheet of pink base plate wax and roll it to form the wax occlusal rim. The roll should simulate the final shape of the rim. Next, apply sticky wax in several places along the crest of the ridge areas of the tray. Center the wax rim on the tray buckle lingually. Adjust the rim with your fingers to approximate its final position according to the criteria, one to two millimeters below the top of the retromolar pads, parallel to the mean of the residual ridge, and labially oriented. Seal the wax rim to the impression tray with a hot end of a number seven spatula. Using a laboratory knife, modify the shape of the rim according to these criteria. The width in the posterior region is 10 millimeters. The width in the anterior region is seven to 10 millimeters. And the occlusal surface is flat. Adjust the height of the wax rim to one to two millimeters below the top of the retromolar pad. This can be done by melting off the excess wax with a warm red devil spatula. A final smooth finish is accomplished by gentle flaming of the wax with a brush flame of a Hanau torch and you can polish the warm wax with wet cotton. The rim is now finished. It is sealed to the tray in all areas. It is centered on the tray, buckle lingually. It is one to two millimeters below the retromolar pad and it's parallel to the mean of the residual ridge. 
It is labially oriented. The width of the wax occlusal rim is 10 millimeters in the posterior and between 7 and 10 in the anterior. The occlusal surface is flat. And all wax surfaces are smooth and have no voids. Now you will complete the mandibular impression tray by placing approximately 12 pressure relief holes evenly spaced around the buccal and lingual peripheries. Be sure not to disturb the wax occlusal rim. You've been listening to a presentation from the University of Michigan School of Dentistry, which is dedicated to supporting open learning and open educational resources. This recording is licensed under the Creative Commons. It may be reused and redistributed for nonprofit use. Please attribute materials to the University of Michigan School of Dentistry and redistribute under this same license. For more information on how this and other University of Michigan School of Dentistry recordings may be used, visit www.dent.umich.edu license.